Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. And as you guys know, I'm a product photographer and I do get a lot of requests in my comments, in my DMs to make a product photography tutorial. So that's what we are going to do today. So today's uh, subject is this. This is a very cute looking prop from my Malaysia trip. And let's show this today. So this is going to be a very simple and beginner level uh, tutorial, but let me show you how you can get a professional looking clean photo of your products with very, very minimal and basic gears. So I'm shooting uh, this vlog with my Sony Zen 4 and for the shoot, I'm choosing this camera. So this is the Nikon Z5 with the Nikkor 85 1.8. Like this is one of my most favorite lenses while I used to use Nikon system. Like I have also made videos about this lens. And as the main light, I'm going to use this. This is the Digitech 150W bicolor light, which I am currently using at 25%. So this is a really, really good light in budget. And on the light, I have mounted a Godox 80 centimeter softbox with two layers of diffusion and a honeycomb grid. And as our second light, we are going to use the Digitech Pocket RGB. Like I have featured this light countless times on my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you how useful this light is. Also, this is our cute little subject for today's shoot. And the tripod I'm going to use is my trusty Digitech 520BH tripod. Okay, so that's all for the gears which I am using for today's shoot. So let's mount the camera on the tripod and let's start the shoot. And with this vlog, let me take you guys behind the camera and let me show you how it feels like to shoot with me. So yeah. Our camera is ready on our trusty tripod and I'm not yet sure that like the photo I'm going to shoot is uh, like horizontal or vertical but I think we can figure that out while shooting. Cool enough? Okay. Backdrop. This one. This is a pretty black one with some textures on it which is going to look great. So let's place the subject and let's see how it looks. Okay, so our subject on black background is looking really great. I mean, the texture and the color are going really good. But as you guys can see, we have a slight problem here. Like when I'm trying to light our subject, the background, we have some like light leakage, light spill on the backdrop. So a simple hack to like minimize that is to have a grid. But here we have a grid, but still we are getting some light leakage. So what we can do, the very simple thing is we can increase the distance between the background and the subject. So a simple way to do it here will be just this. And now if I change the light position. Okay, so now as you guys can see, we have a really dark background with proper lights on our subject. So let's set up our camera. Okay, so now let's set up our camera. So I'm shooting with a Nikon after like three to four years, I guess. So let's turn it on and Okay, so I always shoot in raw for the like the flexibility while in post production and about the settings with the shutter of 1.8th of second f1.8 and ISO 640. So if I take the shot, it looks something like this. Yeah, the image is kind of okay, but it lacks details in the background so we are going to use some colors so let's introduce a light which is this one the digitech rgb so let's mount this rgb light on a stand and let's place it 
behind our subject to light up the whole backdrop like this and now as you guys can see the image looks way better and if I take the shot here it looks something like this which is really great I mean it's a simple shot but it looks really really great and let's make it center let's take another shot I really love the like the amount of detail a Nikon camera provides while shooting stills also we can use this second light as a rim light so we can place this light something like this let's not spill any color in the backdrop and let's make it something like this and I hope that is out of the frame I guess uh, yeah so now if I take the shot it looks something like this a totally different ambience also we can do one thing like we can just remove this light from the stand and we can light up our subject like this with a small gradient on top and the image we are going to get looks something like this so let's lower the ISO and let's check Okay, so this is the final shot and as you guys have like seen the whole process from behind the scenes, so you know this is whole in one tech. The gradient is in camera and the shot looks really great. I mean, I am pretty satisfied with this shot. Okay, with the same two light setup, we can create a different look. And for that, we need a magic arm. Okay, so with the magic arm, what I'm going to try is, I'm trying to mount this light just behind the subject. Okay, so let's turn on the light and let's see if I succeeded in that. So yeah, I've got pretty close. To what I'm trying to get and if I move around a bit I think I can get exactly what I'm looking for though I'm not sure so yeah that is our final frame and now let's okay so the lighting is really looks like how I wanted it and if I take the shot this is how it looks so yeah that's it for today's video and as you guys can see with these two simple lights you can create so many type of looks you just have to know where to place your light and you have to keep on experimenting like uh, this is a RGB light which I am using you can use any of any available light and you can just play around experiment to get new looks so yeah this is a very simple and short tutorial like i don't know if you guys would love it or not so i'm keeping it very short do let me know if you guys enjoyed if you guys learned anything from it if it helped any one of you do let me know if you guys enjoyed it and want to watch more I can keep creating more and more in-depth tutorials also for more advanced techniques. Also, I can shoot behind the scenes of my like real shoots of which I do for different brands and companies. So I can do behind the scene vlog or something like that. Do let me know if you guys are interested to watch that. And yeah, that's it for today's video. See you guys in the next one. If you guys have any question, recommendation or anything like that, do let me know in the comment section down below. See you guys in the next one. Till then, tada.